Hello dreamers, how are you doing? In the last video, I talked about the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. I told you about its overview, the eligibility requirements and the process as well. But so many people had queries how you can find a designated employer, how you can get the job offer letter. So I thought of covering this topic in this video. So in this video, I'll talk about the queries and frequently asked questions on AIPP. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos regularly every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so this was the video that I was talking about. I uploaded it around two days ago. And uh, in this video, you can find the complete process of AIPP, the eligibility requirement. Uh, you can also get to know about the fee, the processing times, everything you can get to know about AIPP in this video. I'll provide the link to this video in the description box below. You can check it out. So before we discuss the queries, let me quickly tell you the process. So for AIPP, you have to get a designated employer. You have to find a designated employer. You have to get a job offer letter from them. You have to get a settlement plan from a few organizations. You have to get endorsed you can apply for permanent residency after that. Now this AIPP is totally different from express entry. There's no point system. And the good thing is that you don't have, you don't need an LMIA document for AIPP, for the job letter that you get through these designated employers. Now, everybody knows that in express entry, if you, if you arrange a job offer letter, in that case, you have to arrange an LMIA document as well. And after that, you'll actually get 50 points, which can actually raise your score so that you can get the ITA. But this process is a lot different from Express Entry. You just have to um, you know, get a job offer letter, get a settlement plan, get endorsed, and then you can apply for permanent residency. Now, of course, the most important part of it is getting a job offer letter, and which is obviously the most difficult part as well. So, so many people actually had queries about the same. People, you know, wanted to know about how you can get the job offer letter. Is there any list of designated employers? Is it there online? So I thought of discussing all of it uh, through a video because it's get, it gets very difficult for me to, you know, reply each and every one. This, these are just few of the comments. There are many more comments over there who ask the same uh, question. So I thought of making this video to discuss it. So just let's just go directly to the official website of uh, Government of Canada and just see what they have to say about it. So guys, this is the official website of Government of Canada, www.canada.ca. And here they have discussed about Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. You can check out this link over here. I'll provide the link in the description box. On the third point over here, they've mentioned that the AIPP doesn't match you with open jobs. We don't know which employers are looking for workers. So they haven't provided any list as such for the designated employers who have some openings and you can go and apply for those jobs. They've clearly mentioned that they don't have such a list and it's up to you to find a job and get an offer letter and then apply for the Permanent Residency of Canada. Now, yes, it is very difficult to find an employer, you know, sitting in your home country, you know, everything stays true. But yes, if you can find an employer in one of those four provinces, then it would be a lot easier for you to get the permanent residency of Canada. So guys, having said that, yes, there is no list as such for three provinces. But yes, for one province, we do have a list of designated employers. Here's the list. For Newfoundland Labrador, they have provided this list in their official website. And if you go to this link over here, which I'll provide in the description box, you can check it out that they've got the you know employer names over here, the location as well, and the NOC codes probably for which the job is available and the date they were designated. So there is a list of around 200 um, companies. 194 to be exact if you want you can go on to this link to check if your NOC code is available over there if you can get a job you can get an offer letter in that case you can definitely apply through the AIPP program 
regarding the other provinces there's no list available in uh, you know all of the three websites of uh, Nova Scotia New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island only Newfoundland Labrador has provided a list of designated employers okay so the other question which some people asked was about the settlement plan now settlement plan is something that is given to you from an organization after you get your offer letter so let's suppose that you've got the offer letter so some people asked about the list of those organizations how they can contact them to get the settlement plan so the list is available in the official website again so let's just go and check out that list so again we are back on the same website canada.ca the official website of government of canada you can find the list of organizations that can provide you the settlement plan after you get the job offer letter this is the link over here i'll provide it in the description box they provide the name of the organization their address the phone number and the email address as well these organizations are there in nova scotia in newfoundland labrador new brunswick and prince edward island all the four atlantic provinces there are 22 of them if you want you can go and check it out but of course this is the easier part the most difficult part is to get the job offer letter you know you can go on to the different online portals and check different companies in those four provinces and if you can arrange a job offer letter then it would be a lot easier for you without even getting the LMIA you can get, definitely apply for the permanent residency of Canada so thank you for watching this video I just hope that through this video you have more clarity on AIPP now if you like the video, please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would be helpful for them. And also, please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.